It's much different because even though something builds correctly, it's very hard to get a sense of how the underlying data actually is affected by that change at like a high, a high level, um, like a statistical level. Um, and historically, that has always been a problem, I think. And it's kind of interesting. It's like, I, it's one of those things where when Datafold came around, I was like, oh man, that is a problem that I always knew existed. And finally, someone is doing something to, <laughs> to, to fix that problem. Um, but yeah, for us, it was just this, this, this need of like, we can do our best. It's like we're, we're, we're doing best effort to review data PRs, right? Like artifact creation PRs, but it's always going to be best effort for us where it's like, yeah, like the code looks good stylistically. We know it runs, but past that, you know, we don't know, right? With Datafold, I think it closes that gap. For us, that gap closure is hugely important because it gives us full confidence in what we're shipping out to our stakeholders, right? Um, so I, I think that was a big deal for us. Again, it, we weren't like facing a problem per se. It was more of just like closing the gap and giving us 100% confidence in the code that we're shipping. Datafold will actually tell you that. It'll be like, hey, you know, this created at field, it used to be a timestamp without a time zone, but now suddenly it's a timestamp with a time zone. Like, you know, that's that kind of stuff is really, really uh, valuable to flag and data, data diff flags that for us. Is the lineage. I think lineage is huge in the data catalog. Um, table level lineage, cool. Like we already have that via DBT. It's a nice feature, but DBT already gives us that. Column level lineage is I think a huge thing for us. Um, one of the really, really tough things um, about data modeling and specifically with DBT, where you can end up with these massive directed acyclic graphs of data assets. One of the really tough things is that it's very, very hard sometimes to understand where a column came from. Like what, what does it represent? Where did it come from? What does it mean? Stuff like that. Um, the column level lineage in data folds, awesome because I can immediately say, you know, okay, column X in this model. Okay, it looks like it came directly from column Y in this other model. Oh, and okay, and I can see that that column actually is a derived column of these three other columns. From the, so like being able to just see that kind of stuff without having to physically like dig through code to find it out is very, very, very helpful. Um, and again, historically something that has just not existed, right? I will say that in my personal opinion, I think that data fold, specifically data diff, is like the missing piece of the puzzle when it comes to like data quality assurance. Um, and I like, I've said that from the beginning, when even when I first found out about data diff, I was like, finally, it was one of those things where it's just like mind blowing, like finally someone did this, right? Um, because historically, again, it's just been a huge problem, almost like an unspoken problem that everyone kind of knows about, but no one wants to talk about kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I, I just think it's, Again, missing piece in the puzzle. Um, it gives us full confidence when we ship changes into production, which is something that historically I have not been able to say um, about DBT, specifically DBT PRs.